Hi, welcome to Wikidi and Kashi and Products. Today I'm going to talk about a fantastic and interesting topic. That's the machine learning algorithms. So I'm going to talk about the machine learning algorithm before we should understand what is machine learning, which is really trending in the market at present. Okay, before that, like I want to share you these are some of the sample videos which I prepared for you people. Okay, if you miss any of my video, just go and watch it. Anyway, like I got my machine learning technological video also in my channel, and you may ask me what is this channel, sir? So my channel name is Kashu Infotech. This is one of the channel where I'm putting lots of technology, and apart from that, lot of lot of technical stuffs for engineering and college students in my other channel, Kashu Winket. So you can subscribe to the channel as usual dialogue. Click the notification to get regular updates from us. Once if I post a video, so I I request you people to post. You are like technological request in the comments. So if you're looking for any technology, post in the comments, man. I am ready to read for you. Anyway, so like um, yeah, if you want to contact me, and if you're looking for any guidance personally, you can contact me via my Insta account, Kashu underscore Info Tech. And here is my contact numbers and everything. You can follow me. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, here is the one. So I'm a typical Microsoft Smart.net green candidate trained by Microsoft. I'm I feel proud to tell you this one. And apart from that, I'm a Microsoft certified machine learning specialist and Microsoft awarded SQL and cloud computing specialist. Okay, so these are some of the credentials of mine. And if you are a student of Casio Infotech, you can contact us. So we got a lot of requirements from other companies. So we got recommend for Java. And we got some requirements uh, for uh, cyber security, and we got a lot of requirements on web designing and PHP developers. Okay, so if any of you, they are looking for the candidates studied in Kashi Info, if you have done any courses in our company, please contact me. I'm ready to refer your resume to the company. Okay, so like I got a lot of technological tutorials related to machine learning tutorial, which is there in wikitechie.com/slash tutorial. So just go and check it out. Okay, so what we are going to see today, man. So I'm going to talk about what is machine learning, and from there I got the machine learning algorithms and why we need to study it. And we got machine learning interview questions. Four areas we are going to see it. Come on. The first question is what is machine learning? If we talk about what is machine learning, the thing is like, uh, yeah, what is what is what is this is the one we are going to see in four topics. The first topic we are going to look into. Machine learning is in the sense like it is used for prediction. So creating a model. So I got an input, create the model, create, train the model so that if I'm giving some data, it will predict and tell you like what is the problem. So this is called as machine learning. Sir, I got your medical data, sir. Manually, the doctor will see and tell like, oh, this is the disease. No, on seeing the medical data automatically, if you are able to predict what kind of disease is there, then that is called as machine learning. I'm training the machines. So you do it automatically to predict the data. That's where your machine learning starts. Okay, so in machine learning, so if you want to see about machine learning, I got another video in machine learning in my channel itself. Just check it out. So I'm going to talk about this. This particular video is on based on machine learning algorithms. So machine learning algorithms, we it's sub it's subdivided into three. The one is like uh, you got your supervised learning, and uh, yeah, it's a supervised learning. And the next one is like the unsupervised learning. Supervised learning in the sense you got a supervisor. You got a supervisor to monitor. That's why supervised learning. I got yeah, like an unsupervised learning way. There is no supervisor, no teacher, sir. I can write it, I can copy and write it, man. So you got your unsupervised algorithms. And the final one is called reinforcement algorithm. We talk about reinforcement algorithm, it's nothing but training. Based on the situation, based on the errors, that's why it's called a reinforcement. The first topic it's a supervised learning. Supervised learning in the sense you got a trainer. Wow, you got a trainer, and the data is categorized. Yeah, pre-categorized data. Learning in the presence of an expert. Obviously, the data will be labeled with a class and variable. I'm able to find. I can I can predict. So you got the input. There is a training already happened. I'm trying to get the output. That's why your supervised learning starts. If you talk about the unsupervised learning, the data is unlabeled. We don't have no no knowledge. I got the knowledge what could be the output, but I don't know what is the output here. No knowledge of output. 
guided so our self guided learning algorithm that data is unlabeled over here it's labeled it's unlabeled and the values unknown that's why it is called unsupervised learning the final one is the reinforcement learning learning from the mistakes obviously once the mistake happen automatically like a feedback is given based on that the input is changed the input is modified that's how it's a reinforcement learning works yes if we talk about further like sir do you have any sub like uh, subdivisions in the supervised learning so i'm going to talk about the subdivision in supervised learning so supervised learning is subdivided into so the main machine al learning algorithm is subdivided into three and uh, under three we got subdivisions also so under super supervised learning we got one subdivision that is called a classification the classification is a one powerful algorithm available in supervised learning and apart from that we got an another segregation that is called as a regression okay so we are going to talk about the classification first so it's a classification under supervised learning if you talk about classifications it's very simple man we are classifying it this or that so we are able to classify the things that's why it is called a supervised learning classification Let's have a typical example how it works. As I told you, it is coming under your okay, supervised learning. Okay, so classification in the sense, I got enormous amount of data. Yes, student data is there. In that case, from the data, I train the system. So like a 60 mark, pass. 70 mark, pass. 50 mark, pass. 49 mark, fail. Oh, that is how I, I train the system. Now I'm giving an input, 80, pass. 40 fail because 50 is a cutoff so we so it is used to predict the students pass or fail exact so train the system with the data and exactly it will tell you like whether it's a pass or fail that's why your classification works will it be cold or hot exactly classify it and tell me exactly that's why your classification algorithm your supervised learning works we talk about the next one the next one is a regression regression in the sense we need to do some analysis to predict something okay so this is an another algorithm which i'm going to talk about a regression so regression in the sense like uh, yeah what is the temperature going to be tomorrow your future prediction kind of i'm asking whether it is pass or fail whether it, whether it's hot or cold so exactly Okay, so predicting the marks or percentage. Uh, today I got this data, sir. Tomorrow what could be the data, sir? So prediction, future prediction can be done with a regression technique. Sir, I got this data, sir. Tell me what is it? That is your classification. If you talk about regression, I got the data now. But what could be the possibility in the future, man? That's your regression, like a supervised learning. So your regression supervised learning works like this. So further moving towards the technology, so many students, they used to ask me a question, sir, we need a career change, sir. I got a career break, sir. I got a lot of areas, sir. I couldn't finish my degree, sir. How can I go for a job? This is the shortcut. The sh very simple shortcut is go for internships. Go for internships. Internship is like a, go to the company, get trained, learn something and get trained and work for them and do some research and get your experience later. As an intern, which is a stepping stone to enter the company. This is a shortcut to enter the job. Okay, so our company Kashu in fact, we are specialized in giving Kashu online internships and also offline internships at the Chennai office. So you can come down to my office, you can learn, or you can learn from online also. So we got some specific technological courses, which is really famous now. We got Kashu in for the certificate ethical lacking expert with all these stuff are included. Both online and offline is available. Apart from that, we got a specific course that is Kashu Infotech certified security specialist with the networking concepts, ethical lacking, cyber security and penetration testing, and blockchain complete package. That is a security course. If you're really interested, Contact me. I'm ready to help you. Okay, so let's go back to our session now. So till now we have seen about the supervised learning, man. That's really good. Now we are going to talk about the unsupervised learning. So if we talk about unsupervised learning, oh, we got some segregation. That's good. That's interesting. So we got the segregation. That is your dimensionality reduction. Reducing the dimension, make it simple. 
Pick complex, reduce it, make it simple and do it. That is your dimensional reduction. Oh, the second one is clustering. Clustering, grouping the data. Grouping the data. That's awesome, man. The other one is association, mingling the concepts and data. Oh, clustering is divisioning. The association is mingling. Oh, I'm a bit confused. Let's see like how it works. Okay, so let's move on to the practical part, how it works. So now I'm going to talk about the first area, maybe like clustering, I guess. Okay, let's see like what is the area I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the clustering concepts. So if you talk about the clustering concepts, like a grouping the data, associating the grouping the data, that is called as clustering. So obviously, we got a lot of data grouping it. Once if it is grouped, we can go for supervised learning. Classification can be done. This clustering is used to group the customers, group the data. Okay, so based on, for example, sir, I got my Amazon, sir. Based on the people's, based on the purchase experience, I can segregate, okay, these people can buy, these people can't buy, these people came to learn, know something. But still no, he didn't buy anything, man. So grouping the clusters, or grouping the customers. So boys, people can buy this one. Girls will buy this one. Men will buy this one. Women will buy this one. Based on the user nature, the system will predict you and they will group the customers. That's awesome, man. Okay, this is one of this unsupervised learning clustering. The other one which we are going to talk about is really well, very important concept. That's association. Considering a person is doing a purchase, they are doing some shopping, a shopping experience. In that case, like we can go with something that is your, uh, uh, that is your like uh, associating, understanding the mindset of the people, understanding the mindset of the people, whether they will buy the things or not. That's where you are, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I got a typical example here. You can see it here. So, like Amazon. So, I went to my Amazon site. I want to buy a racket, man. So, this is a racket I want to buy. Okay, that's good. So, get instant recommendation. Oh, that's good. Okay, so it is like, oh, frequently bought together. Many people bought like this. They are advising you. Buy, buy. <laughs> so, sponsored products, post our bubble, compare with similar items. Customer who viewed this item also viewed. Uh, this is the concept I want to teach you. So, like it is trying to collate the customer's experience and everything. So, associating what those people have done, what you have to done, what you can do, suggesting and make the business. This is how the Amazon is doing tactics. Hey, others buy like this. Can you buy like this? So that it will get like it will be buying extra. So it will make the people to buy extra. So you can see it here. So this is how. The people buying X plus Y will buy Z also. This is the pulse of the business. The Amazon Flipkart knows this pulse of the business using a powerful unsupervised learning algorithm that is called as association. The grouping customers interest. If this guy is, if, if you bought this one, this guy bought this one also. If this guy bought this jacket, he will buy this uh, like a uh, uh, shoes also. So this is how understanding the pulse of the customer and making provoking or invoking them to buy more. Okay, and predicting like a, okay, this guy is buying this one. This guy may buy this one also. Okay, this is called as association. Okay, a very powerful algorithm. Run supervised learning. We can see a lot of powerful algorithms, which is very useful for the business. Now you are able to understand like a why we are looking for machine learning experts in the companies. The companies are looking for understanding the pulse of the customers and make them to buy. Okay. And you are able to see, sir, we got the data in a three dimensional. So come on, man. So a three dimensional or four dimensional data, a multi-dimensional data. I want to make it. I want to make this data a linear format. Reduce the dimension because this multi-dimensional will be unbalanced. You couldn't predict the data. So to make it balanced, I started thinking like we need to optimize or we need to come up with a suggestion. That is you are like a reducing the dimensionality. You got the multi-dimensional data where I can reduce the dimension into a single dimension or two dimensional data to obtain the output. Simplify the problem and find the results. This is how the next algorithm that is called as unsupervised dimensionality reduction algorithm.
okay so hope you learn lots and lots of things now so this is the second area which we are going to discuss what is it man what to study sir you told about machine learning all this yes that's good man what we are going to study so if you want to study machine learning stuff you can study machine learning with artificial intelligence with the data science and python so create your profile in a broader manner create your profile in the broader manner to attack sir, i want to learn only machine learning yes you can go out and learn machine learning but my personal advice is like go with learning multiple stuff so that you can broaden your knowledge broaden your scope to enter the job okay our company kashu we are providing kashu machine learning certificate expert program with all these stuff so looking for this program just contact me at these numbers we are ready to yes uh, what else we are going to see it so why to study so why we need to study this one so if you talk about why we need to study so obviously there are enormous opportunities and many companies are looking for this kind of people to automate the system so that is a major advantage we need some people to get more business to get more business so all devices and projects focus on automation and predictions obviously obviously that's where we need machine learning people so machine learning and automation is famous in today's market by the major advantages like what is the trend in the market learn the technology get your job so easy to learn knowledge with the current trending world okay so i am personally advising you to learn machine learning and python to go for jobs and all so here is the interview questions so if you are looking for a machine learning interview questions so yes this is my website kashuinfotech.com and you got a machine learning internship this is the link just go to this link just scroll down to the bottom scroll down to the bottom you are able to see there are a lot of questions available here so i didn't load it so you'll be getting it don't worry so in this link you'll be having lots of of interview questions access it and use it yes we are reaching the end it's my insta account i'm looking for a message from you people to talk to me and yeah like our company kashiv info we got uh, lots of machine learning courses and internship and also projects if you're looking for anything just contact me the training is in online also in offline the contact numbers are given and here is the machine learning course links python course links machine learning internship links and a machine learning in plan training links everything is listed down so if you are looking for any kind of uh, queries anything you can contact me so we are providing online internships via kashiv.com and we got our offline internships also i request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone to help me uh, yes uh, yeah it's time for me to say a goodbye to you so all the very best thanks for watching this session and uh, yeah these are the, some of the programs we are conducting in our company so if you are interested please contact me this is vankat signing out from wikitech and kashif